Hello, you guys. It is Mindfulness Monday. Now, what does it mean to live a mindful life? Not only is it about honoring people and respecting people, right? Being aware of how you interact with people, but it also has a lot to do with understanding that the interactions that we have with others, the circumstances that we face in life are lessons. The people that we interact with are reflections of ourselves. How we respond to how someone treats us is a reflection of us. So every person, everything that we encounter is supposed to grow us, is supposed to evolve us. How do we do this? How do we become self-aware? How do we um, learn how to live in the moment? For me, it's it's simple. Um, I, I meditate. Um, and I take the time. I, I, it could be 15 minutes to a half hour a day upon upon waking up. But I also do mindful meditations throughout the day. And what I mean is I'm very conscientious of every moment. So what I do is I stop the chatter from my mind. A lot of us deal with all of these thoughts that we are inundated with. It could just be the woes of life. It could be who's not speaking to you. It could be uh, something that's currently gnawing at you, that's upsetting you. It could be thinking about bills. It could be thinking about other streams of income. It could be thinking about what you want to eat. It could be thinking, you could be thinking about sitcoms, movies, whatever. Our mind is constantly going and we need to slow down the chatter in order for us to be present in the moment, in order for us to really experience life. Once you understand that life is um, a school and that we're here to learn and that we're here to grow and to evolve, it definitely changes how you interact with people. You're not so quick to um, point fingers and point blame, but now you're positioning yourself to understand how life works, okay? Um, one of the things that I like to do is if, let's say I'm driving to the store or making errands or whatever the case is um i like to be in the moment so if i'm at a stop sign or if i'm at a traffic light whatever the case is i'm waiting for the light to turn green i'm in the moment i'm watching the light um, i'm i'm watching myself as i'm making the left turn right i'm literally in the moment when you are in the moment and you are self-aware there's a lot of information that you can just gain just from from what you're physically seeing right also for those of you who are spiritual you also position yourself to be able to hear any messages that god may have for you like okay you know what don't go don't go down that street make a left or make a right if you are inundated by the woes of life and all of these things that's bothering you it's hard for you to be a conduit for you to be a vessel for you to hear messages from god it's also very important for you to be in the moment and to make yourself available to receive any messages or images that you need for your life. When you understand that life is meant to grow you, that you're meant to evolve, you'll understand the purposes of images, the purpose of messages, the purpose of why you are dealing with um, certain circumstances, why you're dealing with uh, certain relationship issues that you may have because now you are in a position of understanding as opposed to a position of pointing fingers and blaming okay so life is really about growth it's really about evolving it's really about becoming your best self another thing that i like to do is being in nature i love to just be on the grass i love to um allow the sun to hit me i like to just be in the moment when you are in the moment is when you can be the most creative you have all of these ideas that come to you because now you are opening yourself and you're free right you're positioning yourself your posture for you to get um downloads of what you're supposed to do what your purpose is in life sure yes i'm not saying that we can't handle the issues that we go through and that we should ignore them but when you are positioning yourself to be quiet and to be still is when you can get the answers to how you can confront 
the, the you know life's woes okay so on this mindfulness monday i want you guys to kind of take yourself off of autopilot and for you to kind of put yourself in the driving seat right the driver's seat and for you to take control of you to take control of your life and to be more aware a lot of us are sleepwalking a lot of us are daydreaming and we're not really here we're here but we're not here and so i want to remind you of the power that you have in just being in the moment in being mindful right you could be in the moment and you can be mindful and you can hear call your friend call your sister call your mother call your father do this or do that because now you're you're in the moment right but if your mind is clouded with this is bothering me that's bothering me you're so self-absorbed with what's going on with you that you're not even readily available for other people right we don't only just want to be consumers of life we don't want to just eat and drink and be merry and party and party we also want to make sure that we are also giving back this is how the world is able to go around right when we can take and we can also give back we're here to be here for one another when no man is an island we all need each other um and so that's something that i just want to um, impress upon your heart so today's challenge i want you guys to be in the moment and watch what happens when you um when you're in the moment there's certain things you probably wouldn't have noticed Right? You probably, as you're driving, you probably didn't even notice that, the, that there was a coffee shop at the corner because you never really paid attention to it because you're just thinking about, did I leave the iron on? Right? So learn how to be present. Learn how to be in the moment and watch how your life begins to shift. All right? Take care.